Hey guys, this is Phil. Today I'm going to be showing you the GAN Mirror M. This is, I think, the first serious mirror blocks puzzle that you can get that's really close to having production standards and design standards as 3x3 speed cubes. This puzzle can be found for $24.99 at thecubicle.com. That's actually a very cool, reasonable price for a puzzle like this. GAN could have made this significantly more expensive because it's the only magnetic mirror blocks on the market. To give you a little context, let me show you what mirror blocks used to be. So these are two very common models for mirror blocks. This is a uh, Cuban classroom, is it? Moyu, Meilong, one of those, and this is it. Shengshou. These guys really put the block in mirror blocks. Look how blocky this thing is. It doesn't really corner cut. Okay, so this one has some cuts. Jperm. Not bad. This one's not bad. And then this one, I'll try to do the same alg. Oh, it's so unpleasant. Okay, I'm putting this one away. It's not good. The problem is I am absolutely spoiled by the Gen Mirror M. This cube turns so well. I'm like not super good at mirror blocks, but I have been playing with this puzzle for the past, I would say two, three days. It's definitely increased my interest in mirror blocks in general. I think a puzzle does a really good job if it makes you significantly more interested in the event itself. Uh, the corner cutting. It can backwards corner cut, which is, I think, the first mirror blocks in history that can cut backwards. It is magnetic, as I mentioned before. I think the uh, the magnets are pretty deep inside so that the cube can continue to turn with a magnetic feel across all sorts of layers. Let me show you what it comes with. So, surprisingly enough, GAN, which is famous for creating proprietary tools for their own proprietary adjustment systems, elected to make a simple screw. And so, I'm going to now unscrew this and we're gonna open the mirror blocks. I've never opened this before and I'm rather scared, but we're gonna do it for science. Science, dude. Science rules. It's so bad. Okay, so this is what it looks like. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh, look, this piece has a screw inside of it. Let's unscrew this. I'm not sure if this is a good idea. Oh, here it is. Wow, look at that. Look at this. Look how close these magnets are to each other and how close they are to the tip of the stock. You have to take the smaller pieces and use the, the smallest possible radius to create the magnetic positioning system. That's pretty cool. I'm really glad I opened this. It wasn't as dangerous as I originally thought. One thing, uh, again, obviously had to do this. They had to make the center circles. And it's funny because it's like a, like a mirror blocks, but like the circle was like the least block-like shape you can get. And uh, these stickers are really cool. From far away, they're purple. And if you if you kind of like look at them from the side, they're purple. But if you look directly at them, they're like a fluorescent blue. It's, it's really cool. One thing Jesse pointed out was really interesting to me was that in a lot of other mirror blocks uh, models, centers actually have like this like line thing in order to solve it comfortably, like have all the lines be consistent. You need to pay attention to center orientation but for this one, you don't. I think this makes most sense. So I'm not an expert in solving these. I think I average around a minute. My PB is 45 seconds. I do this weird mix between like layer by layer and F2L well if it's like easy enough for me. So I'm gonna attempt a solve or two and just show you how it turns. So I'm sure you don't want me to be the only person showing you mirror blocks on this channel because uh, I'm kind of a beginner. So we're going to invite one of our friends. He's really good at mirror blocks, like incredibly good. And uh, we'll make a video with him 
So you get to see how a fast person handles this puzzle. And it'll also give you some tips on how to get better in case you want to improve. I don't have anything really bad to say about this aside from the very possible corner twists that you might get. I remember cubing on this for about an hour yesterday on stream and I corner twisted probably three times. Just a note when you open this cube on stock settings, uh, be, be wary of uh, a little corner twisting. All in all, very impressed with the puzzle. I think it's a fair price. It's a great design and it genuinely makes me more interested in the mirror blocks. And I never thought I would be really into it, but I'm actually really into it. And I have some friends who are really, really good. And it just makes me want to get as good as them. Might not happen, but you know, it just, it just sparks interest. And I think Gan succeeded in doing that with this puzzle. And so hopefully it will also spark interest in you guys. If you're interested, definitely check it out. This is uh, for sure worth very positive review.